let's see where we're, are we recording yes we are okay guys hello again oh my god welcome to tea time tuesday <laughs> hi my name is emma um not really doing a whole lot see this is what i mean now i can see my head but now you can't see my table this is aggravating guys like really aggravating let's see I don't want to put you down and, and then this doesn't go down anymore uh, okay well anyway I do have a table here I don't know if you can see it I do have some tea I'm just drinking chamomile tea that's that's all I'm drinking I don't have any sweets only because um, last week I went to, um, let me see if I can, I just feel bad that you can't see my table and that's, you know, part of the, sometimes I feel like the whole thing, <laughs> you gotta see my table. <laughs> okay. Let's see. See it a little bit more maybe? Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit better. I'm a little further, but at least you can see my table. Um, okay, so, yeah, like, I do have my tear tray up there, and for one, thank you for joining me. Um, I know it's not much, I'm, I know it's not really considered, like, your etiquette, time tea time, high tea, you know, afternoon tea, things like that, even though I'm still trying, you know, to, to get to there. Um, I did, I did realize that it, <laughs> it takes a lot of work and it's not that I don't want to, you know, do it cause I do, I do. Um, I like having, I, I think I'm the kind of person who likes having afternoon tea, not just tea at any time or morning tea. Cause I drink coffee in the morning, so I don't drink tea in the morning. And then you have the tea time afternoon. I don't do high tea because usually, you know, in, in this day and age when you are doing um, high tea, it's usually usually at around like five o'clock, so, something like that. And usually by that time, you know, you're darn it, you're already like running around trying, you know, pick up the kids, making dinner, and and everything like that and and then when it's time for dinner you're not really drinking tea you're either drinking pop or kool-aid or some kind of especially now that it's summer some kind of lemon drink or you know whatever but it's not tea so or milk or whatever um so i'm not into the high tea um and then again when you do do the afternoon tea you know you have to make like all the little sandwiches and which I don't mind making if it's just just for me I don't mind making which I'm gonna try to get back into it um I really would like to be able to sit down and have um a, a you know make sandwiches and, and things like that and and sit at a table with somebody but the thing is that most of the time you're not gonna have that individual <laughs> Come, maybe I should just have a doll sit next to me, <laughs> which I've been wanting to do. Maybe I should do that next week before it gets cold. I still do have that tea set. I still haven't opened it. I do have some dolls. I should do that next week, right? I, I really should do it. I, want, I did want to do it like during the summer, but... Summer just ran away from me like there was no tomorrow. It just ran away. I mean, we're already in August. It's already the 21st. And um, you know how it is when you're, you know, trying to get the kids ready for school and you're trying to make sure they have everything they need, which wasn't really bad this year because it's not like we scurried and had to go and run to the stores to get them and run to the store and get supplies because... Throughout the year, we had bought like 
a lot of supplies, a lot of markers, a lot of pencils, like, you know, pencils, pens, mar especially a lot of markers, because the kids always wanted to try the new thing with the markers. So we always had that. We always had paper, you know. We did buy, my, my other son did buy some notebooks because the little one really doesn't really, I mean, he does need um, his books, but everything is mostly in class. Everything's done in class. My older grandson, he is in seventh grade. So... He's in seventh grade, so they you they do everything out of a Chromebook, like a laptop. And then my granddaughter, she doesn't really use notebooks. You know, she has certain subjects again, but most of the work is in the class. So, so we really didn't have to worry. Um, if we do have to buy more school supplies, that's never ending. That it, it, buying school supplies these days it's like buying christmas stuff all year round it's gonna be there it's gonna be there uh yeah so i think most of this stuff really when it comes to school supply was probably more aimed to the first and second graders not so much the older ones i mean i don't know and college students i think i think and and probably Probably for moms, like um, moms who homeschool, you know, they probably needed all this stuff. And teachers. And teachers. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Because when it comes to the basic student, you really don't need that much anymore because they're doing everything online. So, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, they're good. They're fine. And... You know, throughout the the months, the weeks, we'll be, you know, adding or re replacing, you know, whatever whatever it is that they need. So, um, going back to wanting to um, do a tear tray and having sandwiches and all that, I am going to order um, some food. Um, I did see the set. It's called fake food, and they did have these fake like cupcakes, fake uh, macaroons, fake donuts. So I think it was either in a twelve set, and I'm just gonna put it on the tear tray, and then that'll be my my backdrop. Now I could make my own fake stuff, <laughs> but it's time consuming, and um. It's a lot more easier said than than done. I mean, I have styro styrofoam balls. I have uh, what are those called? The cupcake sleeves. All I have to all I would have to go and do is buy the spackle. I do have colors, so that's no problem. And all I have to do is just spackle, you know, color the spackle and use a piping bag, and I can make like two, three cupcakes with no problem. Um, but I'd have to go buy the spackle. Um, they used to sell like these little jars of spackle at Dollar Tree. I don't see them anymore. I, it's been a while since I've seen those. But um, yeah, they have them at Home Depot and or um, Menard. So I, what I want to do is just get a big bucket, almost like you know, um, just a whole, yeah, just a bucket so I can use it like to make, which I have to get one anyway because I do want to get into making cakes. Now, that's another thing I want to have when I'm doing my Tea Time Tuesday. I want to have my tear tray filled with the fake, good, fake donuts and cupcakes and the macaroons. And then I would like to have like a little a fake cake also. You know, that would be nice. I think that would be cute. Because I went, last week, I went to go buy, because <laughs> I wanted, last week I wanted to do two Tea Time Tuesday. And I said, oh, I have to go run and buy some cupcakes. So, 
me and my uh, grandson, we went over there and because I had to buy him some uh, some other some other things. So I said, okay, great. So we got the cupcakes and everything, right? And then by the time by the time I got home, I don't know what happened that the cupcakes flipped, and they were the little mini cupcakes. Okay, they were small. They flipped. And, ah, uh, they were, not all of them were destroyed, but they just didn't look right anymore. And I was like, okay, let's, let's just scrap this. I'm, let's just scrap it. I'm not even going to bother. You know, again, I do have many uh, where I can bake, but at the, see, I don't want to have to bake that day when I'm doing my Tea Time Tuesday. Or make a cake and come and just have something there. Um, again, I'm I'm trying to stay away from sweets. I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> you know, trying trying to get in shape. You can't really get in shape if you're eating stuff every 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 week, you know. Uh, even though it'd be fun for the kids, that's for sure. They, I mean, they would love the cupcakes and the cake. That's for sure. As a matter of fact, I'm due to make one like soon. <laughs> I already have cake, cake mix and my granddaughter's doing, when are you going to make the cake? When are you going to make the cake? <laughs> I'm like, ah. <laughs> soon. <laughs> soon. I remember one time I said that to my grandson. I go, yeah, but you always say soon. You never do it. Ah. Kids. <laughs> you always say that. Oh my God, there's something else. But. I'm gonna try. Um, I even 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 if I can make. I mean, I can make cupcakes without the spackle. I would just have to use regular icing because regular frosting, especially um, buttercream icing, it gets hard just like spackle. It really does. It does. <laughs> And it even comes out looking nicer than if you were to pipe it out of, you know, spackle. But it does get just as hard. Um, so, I could always make some, make some cupcakes, make little ones, and just, you. I'll use the leftover. I, said, I, I do have icing in the fridge from the last cake I made. I should start using that up. I should start using that up. Even cookies, because when I was making cookies for the holidays, I noticed, even though the kids love the cookies, you know, the, with the royal icing and the cutouts and all that stuff, and I decorate them, and I had realized that the icing, the royal icing on the cookies, it stays hard. I mean, I have thrown away a lot of cookies that I could have saved, like, just for, um, again, for backdrop purposes or just like for fake cookies. Like they're there to look at, they're not to eat, you know, that kind of thing. And I threw a lot of cookies away. And, I'm, and I'm, now I'm like, why did I throw those away? I could have used them, you know, I could have used them. So for now on, uh, when I do start making uh, holiday cookies and I do have a lot left over, I'm going to put them in a bag or in a box. I'm going to save them. So that if and when I do need to make a backdrop of some sort, I'll have some already ready <laughs> to, you know, to decorate the um, the table. I mean, I miss doing that. It's fun. I mean, it is a lot of work. You know, you have to, you know, put the tabletop, your tear tray, your napkins, and all that. And it is fun. And I love it. I just love it. Um... Maybe I could try to learn how to make a fake shortcake. That would be nice. But it's fake strawberries. Oh, I would love to have fake strawberries on my tear tray. Oh, did you see that? Um, I don't know if it was on TikTok. I, really, I mean, I'm on TikTok like once in a gray moon. And uh, they made some ghosts with strawberry dipped. Okay some white chocolate dipped strawberries and they put the icing you know on parchment paper whatever it, it was you know like on the flat surface 
and then they dip the, the strawberry in the white chocolate and then they put it on top. So when you saw it, they looked like ghosts and they put the little eyes and everything. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> um, you know, for people who want to do it because I'm not... What are you doing, Cersei's? Come here. Did you open the door? Anyway, so... So that's, that would be a really, really cute idea. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's looking for my son. Uh, the dog, <laughs> Jimmy Shepherd. So, um, yeah, that, that, hey, I might do that for Halloween. <gasps> I didn't think about that. Okay, you see, you see, not, okay, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking. <laughs> Sometimes, like, you know, you, you stop doing something and you're all, you know, psyched up about it. You want to do this. You want to do that. You want to make this. You want to make that. And after you do it a few times, it's like, I don't know, like you get stuck. And then you're like, yeah, but I did that last week and I did that the week before. And like, what am I going to do now? Like when I started doing, you know, the book series, okay? And I'm still trying to catch up my books, but I don't want to go on to the next one until I finish these books. <sighs> I got so much reading to do, so much of writing to do, but because life gets in the way, I, and I let it get in the way when I know I shouldn't. So much of it is my own fault, nobody else's. And when you have things to do, you got things to do. <laughs> And I get mad at myself for not getting it done. And then when it doesn't get done, I get mad. And then I, I, I want to rush and hurry up and get it done, and it just doesn't work. It just, when you're rushing to do something, as it comes sometimes when it comes to my, my nights, oh, you know, my daily nights, what I have to do, and if I'm not prepared, if I'm not ready, I'm not doing it. I'm, j I'm just not going to do it. Because I, either I'm going to rush it uh, and it's going to look bad or I'm going to miss something and I meant to say this or I meant to write that and I meant to read you this. It's like, no, never. Fine. Scrap it. So until I know that I know that I'm prepared, I'm not going on. But, um, but I, I do like the Halloween theme. And maybe that's what I'll do. I'll start doing um, every Tea Time Tuesday. I'll start thinking about doing themes for the holiday. Because I'm not decorating anymore. Not like I used to years years ago. And I, I, I only did it because of the kids and stuff like that. But yeah, I'd, uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to decorate. And, and, and like I said, I have a boatload of, um, of so many decorations. But... I, it's just putting them all up and stuff, it's, it, it's, it's exhausting, but I did because I have my windows up here, and I probably won't do the whole thing, I don't think I'll be able to, but for Halloween, this one guy draped some black plastic tablecloth, and he, he put it up you know, along all the windows, and he cut them in strips, in strips. And then he, like, put a fan to it, and it was just, like, you know, it really did look kind of spooky. So I'm, I'm probably going to see if I can do that. I probably won't be able to do all of it, but because it is pretty long, or maybe just just halfway. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what how I But I just want to decorate but but not a lot so again i am still on hannah's war so after i finish hannah's war it'll be on Appley in love and then i got three more. i'm not I'm not sure if i showed you these books i think i showed showed you these two i think i'm not sure i don't remember but I know I didn't show you guys this one. So this one is called How Quickly She Disappears. Now I don't know if I read these to you or not. And I think I was on something. But I said I wasn't going to read the back until I start reading it. 
So, so this one is How Quickly She Disappears by Raymond Fleshman. And so that's that one. And it has like a winter, like a winter theme to it. So I can't wait to, to read that one. And I'll just read what it says in the front. I won't read in the back. And it says, a gorgeously dark, harrowing, harrowing debut. And bestseller Ray, Riley Sager, New York Times bestseller author of Lock Every Door. Okay. And then I don't know. I might have showed you these two because I think I think I remember seeing how how the book felt. Like, it almost felt like the book that I'm reading now, like Hannah. The jacket has like a like a suede feel to it, and this one is when you read this, a novel, <laughs> and it just says a bittersweet, often funny novel about hope, memory, and loose loose ends. So. That's that one that I'm going to be reading. And then, but this one's going to go after the two I have on the wall. And then we have the High Tide Club. What this one I think I, I showed you is pretty thick. And this one is just a summer read you can't put down from Good Housekeeping. That's about it. This is one of, it, it seems like one of those books I like to take to the beach. Well, yeah, it is on the beach. It's near there anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, so I'll be reading How Quickly She Disappears after those. Then I'll be reading When You Read This. And then I'll save this one for last because I don't know. I don't know how long this one's going to take me. So, yeah, so I can't, I can't wait to, to get into, into these books. Um... What else? What else did I want to say? <laughs> so, yeah, so when it comes to the holidays, I'm not really exactly sure, you know, how I'm going to treat my two time Tuesdays, especially now that the winter, you know, fall is coming. And I really, really did want to be out and, you know, and have tea with you guys out in the, in, in the backyard. But... Not that I, I don't have any ex excuses, but I'm just always scared the my the German the our puppy is gonna knock everything down. <laughs> so, um, and, and it is tiring to bring everything up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs. I have to I have to make like two three trips just to bring everything down. The camera, you know, everything. It's not like I just I can just walk out in a patio and voila. You know, I have, I live on a a first floor, but it's not really like the first floor because there's a basement, um, an apartment below us. But I still have to go some stairs to get to get outside. It's doable. I'm not saying it's not doable. It is. <laughs> it's just again, like everything else, it's a lot of work. And then the timing, the timing has to be just right. Because you have people coming and going on Tuesdays here. I don't know why that day. Why that day? Why? <laughs> Makes me want to change the day. <laughs> but I'm like, no, I'm sticking to it. And I'm going to keep it as it is. And I'm just going to go forward. Forward with that. So, um, so yeah, that's where we, where we are at. And... Um, and I would like to be able to do a Tea Time Tuesday, but I don't want to do a Tea Time Tuesday with me drinking tea and you guys watching me write. I thought about it, but I thought, nah, that's, it's just not the same. And I do love my cups. I'm trying to see if I can thrift shopping for for teacups there's barely anything out there anymore like seriously thing luckily i had a, a close friend who gave me a whole set luckily but if you try to find a tea set i think i went to ross and i saw this pink one 
and which you, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen. And I lucked out. I got it for six dollars. And was there another tea in sight? No. It was this, just that cup and saucer, and and that was it. I was like, any more? No. You know. And then you go to a thrift store, or I don't know. You can go to Home Goods, but they they just for a tea, uh, a cup, or just a teacup, they would charge you like almost like twenty five dollars. I'm like, well, what about the saucer? There's no saucer, and if it, it does have a saucer, it probably costs more. Makes me want to get into pottery. Like, I'll make my own teacups, darn it. <laughs> hey, maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know. That's a, something to think about. I'll get a pottery and learn how to do pottery and, and, and make my own. Not a bad idea. I just love how things come to your head when you're thinking about stuff that you don't do or you, you don't have. It just makes you want to do it. This way you have it. You don't have to rely on anybody. I had something to think about. Maybe I will. Maybe I will get into pottery. You know? And learn how to make my own teacups and my own saucers. But we'll see. Maybe next year. Maybe it's it's something to, you know. It's something to think about. It's something to to put you know on on a, a a wish list. So we'll see. Okay, guys. So again, that's where we are at today. Sorry, I didn't have no sandwiches or nothing to um to taste. Cause I like to do the tasting too. But lately, there's not a whole lot of happening. Didn't really see much at Dollar Tree except for the um, the moon pies which I still gotta buy I still gotta try I haven't tried those yet and I still like doing my Dollar Tree uh, tries I like to buy food at Dollar Tree and and try them and there been a lot of hit and misses you know it's like eh, that was good that wasn't good that to so me I might get into that I might get another Thing to do on my on my wish list make them um, buy some Dollar Tree food and and let you know how, how it all tasted so definitely definitely will do that I'll do it part as my Dollar Tree haul series like I'll do one Dollar Tree haul and then I'll do a Dollar Tree taste test haul or something like that I don't know I'll figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But okay, so I have to get ready because I have to go pick up the kids and my grandkids. And um, I'm gonna try to really do some writing, reading today. I'm like, because I see it this way: if they see me writing, if they see me reading, it'll be a good influence, and they're gonna want to do the same. Even though I usually I. I I do have to force them, but, you know, but if they see me doing it, they'll do it, you know. Okay, guys, so, like a fish in a sea, so glad you caught me, and we will catch you next week on Tea Time Tuesday. Bye!